guys, this is Matt from us. Users, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more Democracy 3. If you remember way back, oh boy, I had to, it was months ago um, when I uploaded a Democracy 3 video last. And I probably would have uploaded a video, another Democracy 3 video sooner if it wasn't for the fact that my game was actually broken for a long time. And I had to go ahead and delete a bunch of folders and reinstall it. It was just a big mess. And then getting my mods to work again was just a, a big mess. Speaking of mods, I'll go ahead and show you my mods right now. Um, you can stop and just look at these if you wish. A lot of them are Nations mods. And I have a lot of them disabled mainly because they make my game crash. And I think that's because you need the DLC to, uh, you know, have some of these mods activated. And I don't have any of the DLC. So I, I did have to deactivate some of them to get my game to work. But yeah. Those, those are my uh, mods right there. If you want to go ahead and check those out, pause them. Go back, pause them. Um, but yeah, most of them, most of them are Nations mods. Um, but they also do add in some pretty interesting policies um, along with just the, you know, the Nations. So we'll, we'll get into that later. And there, there's a bunch of Nations that we can play as. Um, you see right here, we got Israel, Russia, Sweden, Netherlands, UK, France... Um, China, Germany, Austria, Brazil, Canary Islands, Kingdom of Spain, uh, the United States, CSA, Canada, Australia, and, uh, South Korea. So, quite a lot. Um, definitely, definitely a lot we've got here. If you guys have any suggestions or any countries that you'd like to see me play, please list them in the comments, you know, please write, write me out a comment saying which country you'd like to see me play as. But I think, I think as, you know, starting off here, we're going to play as a relatively small nation. I was thinking of going to Sweden. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly small country. It's got a population of almost 10 million. Well, or we could, we could even go, you know, smaller, go to Canada. Oh, wait, no, Canada's not smaller. Goddamn. Okay. <laughs> I thought Canada was smaller. Well, population, population-wise, I guess not. Well, I just made myself look like a dumbass. You never heard all that. No one ever fucking heard that shit. Okay, anyways. Canada. Or Sweden. I think I might go with Sweden just because it's, uh, the population is less. It's gonna be easier to manage everything. Yeah. We'll go with Sweden. It's also a monarchy, and that brings in some pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting decisions. I believe the game calls them. Yeah, I, I believe uh, that that's what they're called. It, it does bring in some pretty interesting decisions with the, the monarch, and sometimes he'll make statements, and you can choose to agree with him or you know, disagree with him or things like that. Um, it'll be interesting to play with a monarch, you know, without saying too much more. Also, real political affiliations. I'm not going to make any. This is a game... Anything I say regarding any political ideology, any political party, is simply, you know, invalid. Um, this is just a game. I'm not going to make any real political affiliations or discuss really any of my real political views. Um, if you guys want to discuss your own, feel free to in the comments, but I'm not going to get into that. Um... That's just mainly because, you know, what, what, what arises from it. But I'm going to go ahead and keep my personal standing out of this. And I'm just going to merge myself into whatever ideology I choose. So go ahead, write me a comment in the description. Say you want to see me play France as like conservative capitalist or conservative socialist. Go ahead and write a comment and I'll do that. But um, I'm just going to be immersing myself into that particular character. And yeah, whatever, whatever dumb shit I say. Just uh, take it, take it very lightly. It is a game, so just keep that in mind, please. Um, yeah, let, let's just yeah. I think I'll leave that there. Um, let's just go ahead and start as Sweden. We'll go ahead and do that. And ooh, the Labour Party. Now I was thinking of starting off as a socialist liberal country, or you know, doing this first episode as a socialist liberal country. And the Labour Party doesn't sound too bad. But the opposition... No, the opposition is going to be the Coalition of Pentacle Rape. Yes. Yes, folks, you heard that right. 
There that is. <laughs> That's actually a real political party. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, let's go ahead and fix the country's problems. Okay, here we are in the loading in screen. This basically just gives us a overload of how our country is doing. And we're actually going into this pretty good. Wow, this is pretty amazing. Our crime's extremely low, poverty is, uh, is extremely low, education's sky high, health is as well as our GDP. Only problem is unemployment. And we'll, we'll quickly deal with that through government subsidized programs. So we're going into this pretty well. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Prime Minister. The lives of all 9,000 or 9,556,000 of your citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. Here we go. So last, the last few times I tried to record an episode here, I got assassinated. So hopefully I don't get goddamn assassinated this time. So we're actually going into this quite socialist. So this will be pretty interesting. We won't have to do too much socialist reform. Um, yeah. What's the, what's the income tax? Ooh, only 31%. I think I'm going to jack that up to a 55%. That's going to what? That's going to double our income. Oh, we can't, we can't set it up. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and skip that first day then. Housing expansion. Okay, so that basically every other day or so you will get a decision to make. And it just so happens that the first one here is the housing expansion. There is a shortage of homes in our country, and the government is under pressure to relax planning laws and allow previously restricted greenbelt land to be built on. So we can either keep the restrictions or relax the planning law. Now, I've played this game enough to know what both of these say and what both of them are going to affect uh, what groups of people so i'm gonna go ahead and keep the planning restrictions we're gonna go ahead and keep those in place and we'll continue on there and then go to our middle income and uh, 55 <laughs> that's gonna bring in a lot of money and we're definitely gonna need it with all the programs that we're going to in enact here um uh, mortgage relief Ooh, that's a problem yeah, that, that's a, a little bit of a problem. Just a tiny bit of a problem. Uh, we've got a ghetto situation going on. Let's see if we can handle that as well. Ooh, we can en we can enact a uh, language course. We'll do a compulsory language course. That should help with racial tension. Actually, yeah, we'll do we'll do. Huh. I don't know, because immigration will also increase racial tension. I think I think we'll just put it on free courses for now and see see how that plays out. So in the top left, as you see when I make new policies or change the existing ones, this political capital changes. And we get a certain amount of political capital each day based on our cabinet. Um, it's basically based off how much our cabinet likes us. That's pretty much the way it works. Um, if they like us more, they give us more political capital. So that's pretty much the way that works out. Um, they don't particularly need experience in one thing. They just need to fucking like you. So <laughs> it's pretty much how it works. We'll go on to the next day. Freedom of information. Ooh, and our unemployment's going good. Or, going up, so that's not good. Freedom of information. There have been calls for a new law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. These include the records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and debt collection agencies, as well as information held by government departments. We're going um, to propose the Freedom Act. Yeah, we're going to propose the Freedom Act. It's essential that we have this law passed as it is one. The checks and balances. Yeah, 
propose Freedom Act. We'll, 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 we'll do that. And, ooh, our popularity is through the roof. 88.75%. Nice. Um, what is our military spending? Oh, yeah, our military spending's down. Okay, we can leave that where that is then. Um, state schools. Let's bump that up. That should get us... A little bit more popularity and also it's going to help out our nation a little bit as far as unemployment goes Ooh, government offices attacked at around 11 a.m this morning an office at the heart of our government was attacked by an armed gang who moved through the building killing indiscriminately dozens of civi uh, civil servants were killed and many more injured before our police force were able to neutralize them in a prolonged firefight. At this time, it is unknown exactly who this group were and none survived the police response for interrogation. This is a serious blow to our government and the perception that we can't even protect our own is concerning to everyone. So that's going to eventually develop into a fear of terrorism, and it's also going to make people fucking hate me. Both of those are not good, by the way. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of negative things feeding into liberal. Let's just see how much our liberal membership is at. Ooh, we've got a 73% socialist membership. It's actually been going down. Well, that's a shame. Why is it going down? Go down. Yeah, do, 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 don't do that. Don't do that game. You fucking goddamn game. Retired to going up. Okay, anyways. Liberal, 60 to 40% on the liberal conservative scale there. And it looks like the liberals, they, it looks like it's probably going to stay that for a little while here. We want it to go... You want liberal membership to skyrocket and conservative membership to just drop off. And if we click into these, we can see how much they, um, how much they like us. And we can also see their happiness, membership, income, things like that. Um, they're obviously a little bit unhappy with us <laughs> because of the recent things that we've been acting and also because of the terrorist attack. Which is never good, by the way. Ooh, we can enact, we can enact uh, food stamps. I think we're going to increase that all the way. It doesn't cost too much, and it's going to help out our nation quite a bit. And it is a rather socialist thing to do, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Work safety law. Yes, let's do that. All the way up. Yes, we will do that. That doesn't cost too much. Um, it's going to make productivity go down, but that, that, that's fine. Our GDP is pretty high anyways, so we should be good. Um, uh, luxury goods tax. Let's, let's enact that as well. Um. I think I'm going to do a 35%. Yeah, 35% luxury goods tax, and we'll go ahead and do the next day. Um, uh, okay, our, our GDP did take a, a slight hit. That's okay, it didn't take too much of a hit. Our health went up. Poverty went down. Very nice. Very nice. Our, our unemployment is still about halfway there. Not bad, but not good also on the unemployment there. Anyways, assassinate foreign terrorist leader. Our intelligence services have discovered a terrorist leader that has been helping organize plots against country. Unfortunately, he is located in another country outside the jurisdiction of our police and the nation in question cannot be trusted to deal with the terrorists themselves. Our special forces believe they can enter the country and eliminate his leader, but need your permission to launch an attack on the foreign nation's soil. I think I might actually launch this attack, although that's not really the liberal thing to do here. What are you doing, Spikey? Or my dog's messing around in my bed. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and authorize the attack because... I, I believe that will help out with the, uh, the terrorism, the fear of terrorism, if it, if it's a successful mission. But our, uh, then again, our military spending is very low, so it might not, might not work. It might backfire. I'm going to go ahead and authorize the attack. Although that's not exactly the liberal thing to do. We're going to authorize the attack. 
popularity looking pretty good. Um, let's just take a look at the, the, the things, the policies that we've already got in place. Um, we're gonna do evolution only. No, okay. I guess we can't do evolution only. Handgun laws, total ban. Um, no, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we'll just leave that where it's at. We'll leave that where it's at. Um, driving age... 15 years. Wow. So that'll make the conservatives hate us slightly, but they've got a lot of things going for them currently. But it'll make us, it'll make the liberals like us. Um, I think I might just go down to 16. Like it is in the U.S. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go down to 16 as it is in the U.S. What happens if we make it 21? Okay, yeah, I guess, yeah, that kind of just makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we'll make it, we'll make it 16. So we'll slightly lower that. Socialists improving. Their happiness is skyrocketing. Extremely supportive. Thank you, boys. Thank you. I appreciate the support. And the voice crack. Um, ooh, 73%. 73.55. Nice. Hopefully that'll that'll continue to improve. Love having the socialist boys behind me. Love it. Low poverty. Nice. GM food proposal. A number of large agricultural companies are interested in growing genetically modified GM food on our soil. Some food can be genetically manipulated to allow for a longer shelf life in both disease and herbicide resistance. Opponents are concerned about the potential health risks associated with the altering of the food chain. Farmers are divided on the issue. I'm going to go ahead and ban the sale of GM food. If you want to read through the arguments, feel free to pause and read through them. I am not going to read through them simply because of time constraints. I don't want to make this episode too, too long. Um, you know, I want to make it manageable to sit through. So... I think we'll go ahead and ban the sale of GM food. This should like the liberals like us a little bit more. They're moderately unhappy. They're still at 60% population. Their membership, or no, their happiness is increasing. Membership's stagnant. Okay. Okay. Um, also, another thing we could do here is legalize all drugs. Or at least legalize LSD. I think we'll just go straight for legalizing everything. We have enough capital to do it, and it's <laughs> the extremely liberal thing to do. Um, and when we're going to get addiction, we're going to get a huge addiction problem from doing that. But I have a mod that lets me deal with that quite efficiently. Ooh, assault on terrorists failed. God damn, I knew I shouldn't have initiated that attack. Disaster. Our special forces failed to catch the terrorist forces by surprise. And after some exciting exchange and gunfire, they were forced to retreat, and two of the soldiers were killed in action. In addition to this immediate tragedy, there is an embarrassment of our forces and to us internationally as we broke international law and didn't even achieve anything. I knew I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb of me. And now the liberals hate me. But that's okay. Um, crime's not an issue, so we could get rid of CCTV cameras. Or maybe, maybe full retreat. No, no, we can't do that. Alcohol law. Ooh. We can change that to no limits. And then have... Drunk people cranked out on LSD and cannabis and everything. <laughs> yes, well, I think we'll do it, considering we're going with the absolute liberal socialist thing here. I think I think we'll do that. I think that's the uh, sensible thing to do here. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and start. Okay. It looks like race riots has come to an end and brain drain has developed. Um, we can lower taxes. So I think I might just lower taxes, and that should handle the brain drain situation. And our unemployment did go up slightly, which is also a problem. 
And it looks like we have a decision here. Appoint UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year, and we need a name, or we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone more able to compromise. Um, so we can go with Emma Bergren. I don't know if these are actually real people. I'm not, I'm not, you know, involved with the Swedish political scene. So, I, I, don't, I don't know if these are real people. They might be. They might be real politicians. I, I have no idea. If you know if they are real politicians or not, write me a comment. They, they're, possibly they're just written up. I think they're, they're just made up. But um, they could be. I'm not sure. Anyways, Emma Bergren is a well-known patriot. And patriotic and more conservative. Okay, so I, 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 we're going to go with Roland here. He's a popular figure. Oops, sorry for that little mic thing there. Um, Roland is a popular figure on the international stage with a reputation for solving difficult problems through comp compromise and understanding a true internationalist. He is pop popular with the liberals and socialists. We're going to do that because we're going for the liberal socialist thing, as I stated before. Um, okay. Ooh, and our, our unemployment, or I mean... Popularity, 91%. The highest it's been. Oh, well, not the highest it's been. Almost the highest, but not completely the highest. Okay. Um, let's take a look at liberal membership. Ooh, it's gone up 0.05%. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. At least it went up something. Am I right? Or am I right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I would like to get both of these enacted, so I might just skip a day because this is very socialistic. We're, we're going to want both of these, although it's going to cost us a shit ton of money. Oh, yeah, also, lower the income tax to about 43. And that should help. Yeah, that should help with the brain drain. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll still, uh, still trigger it. Probably will still trigger it. Because we have all the, yeah, the luxury goods tax. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. You can have your brain drain, I don't care. Um, ooh, euthanasia! A once famous citizen, age 66, is suffering from a terminal disease and living in constant severe pain. Although modern medical techniques can keep him alive for many more years, he has expressed a repeated desire to be allowed to take his own life. Legalized euthanasia um, is incredible... It is incredibly cruel to keep people living in permanent pain when there is no hope of recovery and they have already expressed a will to not carry on with their life. We're going to do that. We are going to do it, peoples. We are going to do it. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually want to go back to that. Um, in the current size of our labor party. Ooh, the current size. You can take a look at that. Ooh, our activists have shot, uh, shot up. <laughs> and there are no activists for the Coalition of Tentacle Rain. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to hear that. <laughs> That's quite funny. And their membership is 23,000 compared to my 4 million, which is basically half the country. It pretty much is half the country. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we're going to win the next election. It looks like I chose a fairly easy country to go with this time. Oh, can we change it to evolution only? Yes, do that, please, right now. Thank you. Next turn. Government offices attacked. God. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That is not good. And our unemployment went up again, and now it's in the red. And our GDP went down. Okay, we need to enact some goddamn... We need to get some socialism up in here. We need more socialism. This is this is not. Ooh, wait, space program. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna go full blast space program, which is, is something I think our government should do. It would cost a lot, but I think it's it's definitely worth it. You know, it is definitely worth it. You know. Investigate science is, is definitely. Anyways. Anyways, 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 anyways. We're going to go ahead and apply that. Okay. 
next. Ooh, alcohol abuse, drug addiction, and fear of terrorism. Ooh, and that's going to make our unemployment go up in GDP. Um, and we also have a decision here. Ban same-sex marriage. Until recently, this hasn't been an issue. Marriage has been a straightforward issue and a ceremony reserved for heterosexual couples. But increasingly, the more liberal ministers have been carrying out same-sex marriages. Should we ban this at the constitutional level? No, we're going to allow marriages. Um, okay. So, we've got to deal with this drug problem, and the way we can do that is in public services, I have a mod, and it's called State uh, Psychologists. How much is that going to cost us? Can I see? Oh, yeah. 30? 30? Yeah, I'm going to need 30. Okay, so we'll have to wait another turn. We're going to initiate that, and that should completely get rid of our drug, drug problem. Corporate exodus. Oh, well, I don't give a shit. You, you corporations can leave. You, you can gladly leave. I'll, uh, yeah, you just just go, please. We'll, 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 we'll gladly let the corporations leave. Landmine Man, an engineering company in our country has just won a contract to manufacture and supply landmines for foreign countries. At the moment, there is no specific law that prohibits the company from making these products, but there is a widespread public debate that we should ban the production of landmines within our borders. We're going to ban it. We're going to ban it, guys. Uh, support is still really high. And it looks like the liberals are happy. Although, ooh... Their membership took a huge hit. Okay. State psychologists, take care of my drug problem, please. Where are you? Save the day, state state psychologists. So yeah, here you can see, and it's only going to cost us $10 billion. And we're making well over that. So this is really worthwhile. Um, this is going to completely... Wipe out antisocial behavior, completely wipe out alcohol abuse, completely wipe out drug addiction. It's going to piss off the conservatives a little bit, but hey, who cares? And it's also going to make these socialists and parents like us. So we are going to do that. That should wipe out our drug problem within within a few um, within a few turns here. Um, rail strike is now at an end, and technical technological advantage as well as North Korea. Should, North Korea cooperation has developed. Chemical plant explosion. Ooh, there's been a chemical explosion at a chemical plant near our capital. While it appears this was purely an industrial accident, the explosion has resulted in the release of a lot of chemicals into our atmosphere, including known carcinogens and other pollutants, which are expected to cause a variety of health and environmental problems. So that means our health is going to go down, pretty much, is what that's saying. And our unemployment... Through the roof once again. God damn. Okay, we need to do something about that. Federal Works Agency would definitely be worth it. So we're going to need to go ahead and pass another turn, which we will do. Pollution now at an end, but race riots and chemical plant explosion. Ooh, but we also got smog-free cities and internationally respected. And we have a decision to do here. Enhanced interrogation techniques. Did we get this one before? We might have gotten this one before, but we're not going to use enhanced interrogation techniques. What is what is our population or membership for liberals looking like? Yeah, it went down a ton, which is really sad to see. We need to get that back up. Well, we've got we've got elections coming up soon, so we don't want to do anything that's going to necessarily threaten our chances of winning. And universal income, it, it looks like everyone wants it. So we'll do that. And, it, you know, it goes along with our socialist thing. Although I don't know if we're going to be able to pay for this. We might have to hire taxes a little bit. Drug addiction now at an end. Yes, Gibraltar's provocation. Okay. Gibraltar have made another provocation over Spain throwing concrete blocks into the sea area where our fishing boats usually sail around. Um, let's do nothing! Yes! <laughs> yes, we are going to do nothing. Right? That's going to make the liberals happy. Yeah, oh no, no, it doesn't. Who does that make happy then? Socialists? 
What does that make happy? Do nothing. Does that not piss off anyone and not make anyone like me? Maybe it hates the maybe it probably makes the Patriots. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's to be expected though. Okay, we are we are losing a little bit of income here, which is why I'm going to jack this back up to 60%. Okay, I guess we can. We'll wait another turn and then jack it up. Government offices attacked and antisocial behavior is now at an end. Amazing, amazing. Where is it? No income, 60%. Okay. And election results. Here we go, folks. Oh, yeah. We're going to completely wipe them out. Very, very nice. Yes, absolutely wiped out. 77% of the votes went to us. 9% to our opposition. Very, very nice. Ooh, the religious people want to kill me, but that's great. I might get assassinated. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, oh boy, I might get assassinated here. That That's not gonna be good. Allow same-sex adoption. We're gonna allow it. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Religious, oh, abortion law. Oh yeah, they hate that, don't they? Uh, ooh, that was significant. Let's do two doctor's approval. So that way they don't fucking assassinate me. Okay, they're only 8% of the population, but I still... I, I don't want them to assassinate me. So, please don't do that. Gay people in the military, a lieutenant in our armed forces has just been discharged after uh, uh, after it emerged he was gay, provoking criticism for some liberal groups. We need to make it clear our position on this issue. Should gay people be allowed to openly serve in the military? Yes, we should, uh, uh, we should welcome and respect any person who is willing to risk their lives in service of our country. A person's sexual orientation doesn't affect their ability to wear a uniform, wield the gun, or act with valor. There is simply no basis on which they should be barred from service. Okay. 88%. We're still very high. I would like to take a look at our... How do I see... How do I see my party? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Let's take a look at our intelligence briefing. We haven't looked at this. Um, it looks like the Brattenburg group wants to fuck me over, uh, as well as the Crusaders of the Lord. Those, I, I, I believe these are maybe capitalists? And Crusaders of the Lords, I know that's definitely religious. Brattenburg group, that might be capitalists, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, it's probably might be capitalists. Not exactly sure. We're making a shit ton of income though. Um, let's see. Can we get anything else in here that's going? Ooh, federal works agency. Ooh, also living wage. Let's let's do living living age first of all. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Ooh, fuck you, Sarah. Don't don't resign him, you asshole. And another government office got attacked. Well, fucking fuck. That's not good, people. That's not good. We'll go ahead and skip another turn. Race riots now at an end. Perfect. Retail merger. A large retail chain store has announced plans to buy out one of its main competitors. This merger needs government approval, but if it goes ahead, it will create one of the biggest countries in the country. Fuck you, corporations. We're blocking your ass. Get the fuck out of my country. Yeah, get the fuck out. Fuck you, corporation. Okay. Let's see what we can do. What can we do? What can we do? Ooh, neutrality. I think we're going to do that. Maximum on neutrality. It's very, very sensible. Stray animals care. We'll also put that all the way up. Because we have the money too, so why not? It's going to make people love us. Except the capitalists. Oh, smog-free cities now at an end. Pollution developed? No! Oh, airport expansion? Okay, we're going to reject plans. That, sh that, sh that should help out with this, I believe. No, I, I guess it doesn't. I guess it would have. But I guess it doesn't. Anyways. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Can I see my my party? Do, 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 do. 
91% of the vote. I get, where do I see my party membership? Ooh, 100% approval. From, oh, from the socialists? Okay. Who are these guys? Adam, Adam Sojbert. Labor Party. Oh, so she's wealthy? And she supports the Labor Party? Okay, that's, that's... Is that correct? Am I reading this correct? She's very wealthy, but... She 100% supports the, uh, the Labor Movement. The Labor Party. <laughs> okay, that's, 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 uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, that is very interesting indeed. Yeah, we've we've got a lot of approval. Most of these guys love us. Except for you. You're just some stupid bitch who hates me. I don't like you. Don't hate me, please. And don't try to assassinate me. Definitely don't try to assassinate me. Ooh, religious population dropped a ton. Not a 2.65%. Yeah, it's just going to continue to grow down. Or, yeah, go down. Um, ooh, ghettos. It's not good. Yeah, not good at all. Um. Hmm. Okay. State TV. Could do that. Or we could do Workers' Pride Campaign. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Ooh, that'll make our productivity go up. So that is, that's pretty good. We'll do it. We're gonna do it, people. To the worker. It's time for a proletarian to rise above the dirty capitalist. We are going to make Sweden rid of corporate corporation and get rid of the bank, okay? Oh. Tax evasion? What the fuck? Fuck your tax evasion. Don't tax it. Don't evade my taxes. I'm giving you loads of government programs. Why are you going to evade my taxes? Don't do that. Don't do that, people. Dead hand? Oh, no, that's not enough. Screw that. Homeless assistance program. I know. Uh, homeless. Homelessness isn't really a problem now, is it? Oh, I can't see that. My overlay's right above that. What does that say? Asthma epidemic? Okay. Uh, maybe we should deal with this environmental problem because it looks like it's being it's becoming an issue so um we'll, do, we'll enact a clean fuel subsidy that should help um as well as biofuel subsidies what else what else what else what else what else what else fuel efficiency standards and can we do anything else Ooh, telecommuting yeah we'll do that all the way very nice so that should help Sarin attack? What the balls is that? Following the horrifying Sarin attack on our capital? Oh. Well, fuck those guys who attacked my capital. Fuck those guys. Anyways, animal testing. Ban animal testing. A proposal to ban all animal experimentation has been placed before government by pressure groups. We currently have quite a few people working in industries that use animal testing, but it's also highly unpopular practice. Um, we're going to ban it. Yes, we shall ban it. How is our liberal... Oh, what? Whoa. Okay. That went completely down. Conservatism is through the roof. I hope I don't get assassinated by conservatives here. Unemployment and telecommuting. Okay, can we get rid of the telecommuting? Fuck you, telecommuting. Get out of here. Wait, oh, oh, did I not click on rib liberal? Oh. Oh, I clicked on commuter. Fuck. Okay, I shouldn't have got I should have gotten rid of that. God damn. Sarah attack. Oh, that's what fucked me up. Okay. Well, fuck you, game. Whatever. 
do do what you want. Um, we'll go ahead and pass another turn. Conservative plot. Oh yeah, of course. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. People smuggling. Allow them to stay. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna get assassinated here, aren't I? Fuck. That goddamn Saren attack. I don't know when that's gonna go away. <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get assassinated, aren't I? No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get assassinated. Please. My dream of s complete socialist, liberal Sweden is, it's, it's not complete yet. I haven't enacted everything that I wanted. Ooh, yes, okay, they're not lying. Oh no, fail the test, assassination. Fuck. <laughs> okay, not good. Weapons stolen from military base at some time last night. A cache of weapons, including assault rifles, grenades, and other explosives went missing. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I'm thinking of going with a, uh, you know, hiding myself behind a vault. National Security Act. Oh, fuck. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Fucking fuck. That's not what I, oh, god damn, that's not the thing that I wanted to do. Why did I just do that? I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Why did I just do that? Now I look like a butthole. I don't want to do that. Whatever. Um, where, where's the light bulb ban? Okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, where is it? Do I already have it enacted? Or maybe it was the National Security Act. I have no goddamn idea. Oh, conservative plot. Yeah, of course. Chancellor resigns. Why do you do that, Mr. Chancellor? I don't do that. Um, let's do socialist liberal, of course. Can we get rid of that, that thing that I just put in? Where is it? There it is. Yes, get rid of that. I don't want that. Oh no, I got assassinated. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't too bad of a run. Um, Goddamn Saren attack, man. I would have been fine if that Saren attack didn't show out of nowhere. Show up out of nowhere and just screw me over. I guess I, guess I should have appeased the conservatives... Until, uh, until that was gone. I guess that's a mistake on my part. Um, yeah. I guess next time we'll be going with a more conservative capitalist ideology. But we didn't do too bad as socialist liberal Sweden. I got most of the work that I wanted to get done. Uh, uh, I, think, I think that was one and a half terms I served. And I got, I got assassinated by the Moral Crusade conservatives. Okay. Yeah. I guess that was kind of expected. Their their population just skyrocketed in. They got pissed. So, yeah. I guess that's it for this Democracy 3 episode. If you want to see some more, hit me up with a comment. I really do enjoy playing this game. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!